I'm going to add the weathered effect. And again, you can see this is a bitmap that's floating over the top of the graphic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask that into the graphic using the power clip function. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select the graphic. I'm going to hit control G to group it. I'm going to change my page color real quick here just so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to double click on the page. I'm going to select background. I'm going to give it a solid gray background. And then one thing that's very important is to uncheck print and export background. So we're going to go ahead and click on that so we don't accidentally print the background when we do separations. And now you're going to see that, that white outline there. So what we're going to do is we're going to power clip that into the graphic. So the easiest way to do that is just to right mouse click, drag it, hover it over the graphic, release your right mouse button, and say power clip inside. So once we've done that, we can also do advanced editing. So you'll notice over here when I have the graphic selected, you have an edit button. I'm going to select edit, and this is going to give me the ability to reposition that overlay. I can even duplicate it to create a double density overlay. I'm going to hit control D to duplicate it. I'm going to select the duplicated version, click on it one more time to get these rotation handles, and I'm going to rotate that. And then I'm going to hit finish. And now we even have a higher density overlay. At this point, our file is set up and we're ready to output color separations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select file and print. And then I'm going to select my print driver. In this case, I'm just going to use a general device independent PostScript file, PostScript driver. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select color and separations versus a composite image. You notice I'm getting a preview over here. If you don't see that preview, that's a little button here that gives you kind of a miniature preview. You can scroll through the different separations. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off some of this extraneous um, data right here. So we're going to go down here to pre-press. I'm going to turn off print file information and cropping fold marks and color calibration bar and densitometer. And I'm going to leave print registration marks on there for now. But you can clearly see the color separations. And one thing you're going to notice is there's a separation for the weathered overlay. So something that's very important, in this particular file, I have two whites. I have the white for the weathered overlay, and then I also have white in the graphic. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the white in the overlay. And in this case, the white is knocking through all of the colors. I'm going to leave the white in the graphic because we're going to actually print the white. Now you'll notice over here under Advanced, we have all the postscript settings. So if you're going in and editing the dot frequency and angle of a halftone, you can do that from right in here. And then you also have the ability to preview all of the separations. So I'm just doing a simple little preview. There's my separation for orange. There's the white separation. And there's the 289 blue separation. The next step would be to go over here to general where you see print. If you have any printer specific data here, you can click on the little cog icon. We want to make sure that our page layout in the printer matches the document in CorelDRAW. If you're printing out to a RIP software, when you click print, it's going to open up your RIP. You can preview the images before finally outputting to your printer. If you're printing directly to a printer, you would select your printer from the drivers, click print, and you'll print out solid black images onto film for each color that's in the design. It's easy to output color separations in CorelDRAW from graphics that you customize in Graphics Flow. The key is making sure that you designate a specific number of spot colors. Thank you.